Hello everyone and uh, welcome. In this uh, video we are going to look at the solutions to question number four for biology paper two for GCE 2018 examinations. So this is question number four and question number four had uh, figure 4.0. So the question reads figure 4.0 shows the vertical section of the vascular system in a type dicotyl donor stem so here we have the structure we have uh, s we have the cambium and also t so vascular bundle always has two structures uh, xylem and the uh, phloem as well as the uh, cambium separating the two bundles so the first question is uh, a which is saying identify structure t so this is structure t so structure t is quite interesting in that here whatever it's transporting is going down then apart from that it has got uh, uh, perforations here and it has got numbering cells here so these cells might uh, actually companion cells because here we don't have any cells joining to the side so these might be companion cells and since here the uh, demarcations are much larger we can assume to say these are xylems, but here you can see tiny populations or holes. So that makes our T our phloem vessel. So T, that's simply the phloem. So that is for structure identifying of structure T. Uh, so that was the solution to question number A1. So let's now look at the next question. So question number A2 says, what two fissures features in the diagram helped you identify T in A1 above. So like I was saying to say, for us to identify this one as the uh, phloem, we have uh, the sieve plates here with the sieve pores. So that is our first feature. We can say presence of the sieve plates. Okay, then the other feature is of course the cells which are joining to this structure. You can see that this is the companion cell. So we have presence of the companion cells. So we have uh, this one and the other one on top there. So this is the solution to question number A2. We can move on to the next uh, question. So the next question is uh, uh, B, and the B simply uh, is asking us to name two substances transported by S. So structure S is simply the xylem vessels. So the xylem vessels are actually in charge of transporting water and mineral salts. So the first thing they transport is uh, water. So we're transporting water and uh, also transporting mineral salts. So those are the structure uh, substances which are transported by the xylem vessels. Then uh, uh, the next question uh, mm -hmm. is uh, C1 and C1 says on the diagram label a companion cell so we go back to our figure 4.0 so figure 4.0 here we said that uh, these cells which are adjoining structure uh, T is actually the companion cell so you can label and so whenever we label always make sure you use a label line don't use an arrow so just draw a nice line there and always start from where you are labeling to outwards, not going inwards because you might overshoot on the structure. So here we can now label companion cell. So that is uh, the solution to question number C1. So we have labeled on our diagram. So for C1, which is uh, for us to label on a diagram. So the label, we have labeled on our diagram. So we can now move on to the next question, which is uh, C2. And for C2, it's actually asking us to explain the role of the companion cell in the vascular bundle. 
so the companion cell will simply control it controls the activities the activities of the flow M of the flow M vessels by providing enzymes and the energy which is just simply ATP so that will be the function so it will control the activities of the flowing vessels so as the, the water is basically moving about uh, the substances are being transported in the phloem. It will actually be the one which is being controlled by the phloem water vessels. So, uh, sorry, being controlled by the companion cell. So that is the function of the companion cell. It simply controls the activities of the phloem vessels by providing enzymes and the energy. Then uh, we can now move on to the next question, which is question number uh, D. And D states uh, is asking us to explain two functions of uh, the cambium so the cambium in our structure here we can see it uh, it's at the, the middle of the uh, s and t which is the xylem and the phloem respectively so the function of uh, cambium is simply to actually produce more xylem and phloem hence uh, causing secondary growth so i can say it causes secondary causes secondary growth then uh, the other function is that uh, it uh, repairs damaged uh, tissues so when a plant has uh, received a physical injury it will actually uh, be repaired by the cambium. So the cambium will produce a mass of cells, which is known as a callus, which will then uh, form different uh, parts of cells which are needed, for example, the back or cortex, which have been damaged. Then it also causes secondary growth by forming new phloem and new xylem, which makes the stem now increase in its uh, gear. So these were the solutions to question number four for GCE Biology Paper 2 for 2018. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any new uploads I make to this channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you again in the next video.